Okay. Yeah, hi guys. What's up? Uh, I'm Mr. Kaur and today we are looking at subtopic mangrove swamp succession dalam BM sesaran paya bakau. Eh? Now, uh, if you have done this in school, okay, my method is always uh, an active revision method, meaning if you are a Form 5 student, you are looking at this now, um, you have learnt it before, you have learnt it before, how, how do you, can you actually recall the points? Guys, can you actually recall the points? So, if you find that, oh sir, I am able to uh, tell you the points straight away. First point, uh, we must always start with plant species. Second point, point to do, uh, we talk about high tide. Okay, uh, third point. Okay, now, if you can actually tell me three points, uh, you are quite... Uh, good already because guys without referring to any buku rujukan kamu dapat uh, memberikan saya point-point tersebut it's like I always use this example it's like you want to go somewhere you have to um, first start the car then only you drive there correct hey guys the first few points is exactly like starting the car kalau engine engine kereta tak boleh hidup macam mana nak pandu ke destinasi tersebut so that is why um, this comes to the second thing. Uh, sir, I can't recall the points. Meaning you it's like it's like fighting a war. You have to start changing your strategy. Okay, maksudnya uh, technique technique yang kamu guna sebelum ini tidak begitu efektif. If it is effective, memang you can tell me the points. Correct or not? Okay, now uh, let's cut to the chase, huh? This is why, this is why uh, students find this stuff. A lot of words. If you are writing BM Karangan 350 Perkataan, I know you all write up to 800 words. I write up to 1000 words for my BM Karangan. I remember my, my teacher, my tuition teacher forced me to write 1000 words. Kalau tidak, tak boleh balik rumah. Okay, now. This alone is, I think, this alone is, I think, two to three hundred words. Just one process, you know. Just one process. Okay? So, the hard way is you memorize word by word. Easier way, always, always visual. Always use visual. Because long, long time ago, a Japanese uh, professor said this. In our brain, uh, one word is one unit. So, if we want to half out this, uh, if we want to memorize this, you need hundreds of units in your brain. And that's for just one process, guys. But then, if you use diagram, diagram is one unit in the brain. So, instead of hundreds and hundreds of units, kamu hafal satu unit cukup. Okay, mari kita mula, uh. Okay, mangrove swamp succession. First point, we start with plant species. Nearest to the shore, nearest to the shore, this, this is Avicennia son, sonaratia. Avicennia sonaratia. Okay, next, they have pneumatophores. Pneumatophores are breeding roots. Pneumatophores are breeding roots. Okay. Now, the second one, we call them Rhizophora. Rhizophora have still roots. And finally, Brugira. Brugira, they have buttress roots. Okay. They have buttress roots. Huh? Alright. So, kita mula dengan uh, species tumbuhan dulu. Yeah. Okay guys, during high tide, during high tide, semasa air pasang, okay, we can even show you. Yeah, that sound. Okay, we can even show you, this is high tide. Okay, so during high tide, um, you can use this, you can replace this with mud lah guys, mud, mud lumpo. Mud and organic matter will be carried to the mangrove forest. Okay, 
lumpur dan sebatian organik akan dibawa ke uh, tebing laut ya yeah? when the tide recedes air pasang air surut when the tide recedes all this will be trapped by pneumatophores okey ke semua ini diperangkap pneumatophore and after a long period of time we get a new shore new shore will be colonized by Avicennia sonoratia and around this point you are lost already okay you you you, you should be lost already lah huh? okay it's very normal it's very normal because you are learning uh, i would say you are learning a new method for the first time confirm take time on guys I'll repeat the whole thing again, ah. Eh? Okay, now, sekali lagi, ah. Eh? Mangrove swamp succession, what is your first point? You can see now, in your mind, oh, uh, just now, sir, say, plant species, then we go through all. You see, that's the guideline, you know. So, first point, we start with plant species. Nearest to the shore, Avicennia sonoratia. They have pneumatophores, which we call breeding roots. Then rhizophora, they have stilt roots, while bruguera, they have buttress roots. Buttress roots, yeah. Okay. Second point: during high tide, mud and organic matter, mud and organic matter are carried to the mangrove forest. I pasang, I surut. When the tide recedes, all these are trapped by pneumatophores. Diperangkap pneumatophore. And um, after a long period of time, we get a new shore. Tebing yang baru. Eh? After a long period of time, it's not one, two days, it's not one, two months, it's not one year. Eh? Can be five years, can be ten years, can be twenty years. Yeah? So after a long period of time, after a long period of time, we get a new shore. New shore will be colonized by Avicennia sonoratia. Now, tadi saya henti di sini sebab saya nak huraikan perkataan kol, uh, colonize. Guys, when we use the word colonize, it only refers to, listen carefully, colonize is for the first species in a new habitat species pertama di habitat yang baru contohnya uh, tadi sini ha habitat baru new habitat so the first one ayah uh, the first one that grow here the first one first one yang pertama first one grow here we call them uh, we use this word colonize. Okay, Avicennia colonize new shore. Hanya untuk species pertama. And because this is the first species, we call them the pioneer species. We call them the pioneer species. Dalam BM kita panggil mereka species perintis. Maksudnya species pertama. Okay. Uh, if you have my notes, if you if you have. Um, if you are using a reference book now, or if your brain is very good, lah, that's enough. Huh? I want you to, uh, if you have notes, huh, you can actually color these two. You can color meaning highlight these two. We always use these two words together. First species, we call pioneer species. And we must say, they colonize a new place. They colonize a new place. Dalam BM, mengkolonikan. Mengkolonikan uh, tempat yang baru yeah? From here on, it will be much simpler Okay, look The region, the region here now It is drier and more firm Lebih kering, lebih padat Dan sebab itu lebih sesuai untuk rhizophora The region here now is drier and more firm, so it becomes more suitable for rhizophora. Rhizophora will succeed, meaning take over. 
it will succeed Avicennia as the dominant Avicennia sonoratia as the dominant species. Uh, did you catch it just now? So uh, before before this before this uh, uh, it was as such. Then when the rhizophora take over, ah, you see succeed. This is called succeed. Yeah. Now, if you know, uh, okay, let me explain this. Uh. Guys, pioneer species is what? The first species, correct? Dominant species is what? In your class, uh, what is the dominant gender? What is the dominant gender? Uh, let's say boys. So boys, we call it the dominant gender. Lah. Not dominant species, uh, please. Uh. Dominant gender, yeah? Okay, so dominant means what? In greater number Dalam bilangan yang uh, lebih okay? Dalam bilangan terbesar yeah? So Now, means uh, in this place here We have a lot of rhizophora And if you know this point The rest of the points are exactly the same Just tweak a little bit Just change a little bit the region here, now it is drier and more firm So more suitable for Bruguera Bruguera will succeed Rhizophora Bruguera will succeed Rhizophora as the dominant species Finally, the primary forest comes in Finally, would be the primary forest uh, Whenever Whenever uh, you see primary forest, this is the climax community. Dalam BM community climax. Climax community means uh, it is a stable community. Maksudnya tidak uh, tidak digantikan lagi ya pada akhir pada akhir sesaran ya. Okay. So it is a stable community formed at the end of succession. Uh, one one method of how I always ask my students is, okay, you imagine this is the Earth, planet Earth. Then let's say you are a a girl, uh, Okay, so uh, you are here. Uh, you yeah, you see the hair. Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah. So you are, uh, let's say, with your boyfriend. Ah, uh, you with your boyfriend, okay? Okay? Now, if you, from the from the moon, uh, dari bulan kamu tengok bumi kita, apakah warna, what color can you see? Chances are, you will see one of these two colors. Uh, okay, if you say blue, Okay, why why do you see blue color? Because blue color refers to the sea. If let's say you see blue color, what color can your 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 boyfriend or girlfriend see? If your answer is green, what is it, guys? Green refers to forest, hutan, hutan. Why do you see forest? This is because it is the climax community. Very stable. Very stable. Yeah? Very stable. So, um, yeah, this explains climax community. Yeah? Okay, guys, we have come to the end of the process. So, I go through one more round, but, but a little bit quicker. Lah, huh? See whether we can... Revise the whole thing in one minute or so. Uh, if you have my book, it's exactly the same. Uh, uh, the, the way I teach and what I have in my nota is exactly the same. Yeah, you, you can see plant species found would be Avicennia. Okay, of course, if you want to copy, by all means, go ahead. Uh, the, the whole idea of the video is to help you. So if you find uh, you really want to copy, uh, go ahead. Uh, okay. okay now, so during high tide, mud silt organic matter carried to the during high tide, mud organic matter carried. So when the tide recedes, all these are trapped, 
the shore extend to the sea, new shore, pioneer species. We always use these two words together, colonized and pioneer species. The regional drier, more firm, uh, dominant species. So you see, it's all the same. Yeah. So let's let's try this out in one minute, uh, guys. We try to complete this in one minute. Okay, mari kita mula. We start with plant species: Avicennia, Sonaratia, Rhizophora, and Bruguera. Yeah. During high tide, mud organic matter carried to the mangrove forest. I pasang I suru dah. So when the tide recedes, all these are trapped. Long period of time, we get new shore. Okay, careful. Next point, new shore colonized by Avicennia sonaratia. What do we call them? Pioneer species. Okay. So the region here is drier and more firm. So become more suitable for Rhizophora, succeed as the dominant species. Same thing here, same thing here. This one drier more firm, become more suitable for Bruguera, succeed as dominant species. Finally, primary forest climax community. Revision, one minute. Check. Okay? Alright, you can watch the next video for uh, adaptation. Uh. Adaptation of mangrove plants. Alright? Okay, guys. I'm Mr. Kong. Cheers.